November is Men's Health Awareness Month, and if you didn't know, one in four men are affected by mental health illnesses. Now, according to MindWise, about six million males are affected by depression alone, and an even sadder statistic here in 2020, men died by suicide 3.8 times more than women. Now today, we're doing our part to put an end to suffering in silence, and we're seeking help from medical experts. And here now to address the silent stigma and share some solutions is Dr. Jeffrey Ganay, Chief Medical Officer at Easter Seals Mork. And uh, Dr. Ganay, thank you so much for being here today, and this is such an, an important topic to talk about. Um, let's start with, uh, why do you think that there is the stigma that, um, that men are weak if they go see a therapist or try to seek some mental health help? Yeah, uh, it's an important question because I think when I think of stigma, I think of two different kinds of things. One, there's self-stigma, this idea that um, if I am struggling, if I'm stressed, if I get help, somehow that means that I'm weak. Um, or and, and I like to think of myself as a strong person, someone who can get through anything, a rugged individual who can pull myself up by the bootstraps. And if I get help, maybe that shatters that, that way that I look at myself. There's another piece of stigma, it's the societal stigma. What would people think? What would people think if they knew what was going on inside me or what had happened to me in the past or what I've been doing? Um, and so, I think sometimes that, that prevents people, particularly men, from getting uh, help, uh, whether it's, it's professional help with a therapist or psychiatrist or even just talking to loved ones or clergy or friends. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think uh, it's important, one, to recognize that when it comes to seeing a therapist or a psychiatrist, that um, everything you say is confidential. So those things aren't going to get out in, in, in the public. Those things are, are protected and you can talk freely there. And it, the, it helps that more yeah. people are just saying too, like, all right, hey, I, I, I'm seeing a therapist. And so the more that we talk about it, the more comfortable we, we, it, it is for other people, I think, to get help. Yeah. Um, what are some of the, the major mental health problems that, that you think men are facing today? So the most common things um, are, are things like depression and anxiety. People are stressed, particularly in the last few years. We've seen rates of depression and anxiety almost double or more than double, um, whether it's because of being isolated or uh, economic problems. People are stressed out. Um, and we've also unfortunately seen, as a result of that stress, people turn to drugs and alcohol. And that's um, something that... Uh, uh, men uh, are more likely to do than women. So we know that women are more likely to seek help when they're dealing with a mental health condition. Men, unfortunately, are more likely to turn to drugs, alcohol, and as you sh the stat you showed earlier, more likely to die from suicide. And so we're really hoping we can encourage um, everybody, but men in particular, to, to uh, seek help when they need it. And it's not, yeah, just not bottling everything in and just keeping it to yourself to be able to share that and, and express what's going on. What are some of the signs um, that somebody might be depressed or, or might have anxiety? Because sometimes you can just be stressed out from day-to-day -day things. You think, okay, well, I can just manage it. That's no big deal. I don't need to see help. How, what are the signs that you think men need to be aware of when they should seek help? Sure. We, we all get sad. We all get stressed. We all get worried. Um, we all get irritable. Those are just normal human feelings. Um, but when I start worrying uh, about people is when those things are impeding your ability to function. It's interfering with your work or going to school or having relationships with your loved ones, your friends, your family. Um, or um, keeping you from doing things that you normally enjoy. So those are the, the, the kinds of things that get me worried that this is really impacting someone and I, I really want to, to, to help you get through this, whether that's talking to a therapist, maybe taking medication um, uh, to, to help you through that. Do you have any tips for some people that might know some men that may be struggling, or at least they think may be struggling, and they know that they're kind of resistant maybe to seeking help themselves? What are some ways to support those men that just are unsure if they're ready to seek help themselves? Yeah, I think the, the most important thing to do is just not ignore it, um, to talk about it, maybe express what you're noticing and why it's worrying you, and then listen. 
just try to listen and understand. So, so many times when someone's struggling with something, we try to fix it. We want to jump in there and tell them what they got to do. And, right. and as human beings, we just get resistant to being told what to do. No one likes to be told what to do. But if you can just listen and understand what they're going through, um, that can go a long way to, to help them feel supported and maybe to encourage them to um, get more help if they need it. Yeah, and you know, men like myself, very stubborn too. You don't want somebody to say, hey, this is what you need to do. You're like, all right, well, let me decide that on my own. So that's great to, to listen. I do want to mention too, your, your free online screening tool. Can you tell us about that and how that works? Sure, at our uh, website, um, it's uh, www.easterseelsmork.org. That's easterseelsmorc.org. Um, we have a free anonymous survey. Um, there is a comprehensive survey, but there's also pieces of different surveys if you're looking for yourself or loved one to um, uh, look into depression or substance use, um, even if you do the full one, it takes no more than five minutes, and we don't collect any data from that. And at the end of that, it, it provides you resources locally and nationally and at Easter Seals Morick that might help you with whatever you may be right. um, worried about. So step one is to understand that it's okay to seek help yourself, and this is a great way to, to get yourself there, and you can, you can do it without... Um, you don't necessarily go into a whole lot of people to share your story first to get you going in the right direction. Dr. Jeffrey Ganey, thank you so much. You can go to easterseelsmorg.org for more information. Appreciate you being here this morning. Thank you so much.